Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike Randalls. I'm the principal of Coeur d'Alene High School. And on behalf of the students and staff of Coeur d'Alene High School, I'd like to welcome you to the Coeur d'Alene High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2022. At this time, I'm going to ask one of our graduating seniors, Miss Natalie Hughes, to come up here and sing the national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare Graduates, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get underway tonight, we need to touch upon a few things, uh, some introductions, some thank yous, and a little bit of housekeeping. Introductions, uh, behind me from Coeur d'Alene High School, we have Counselor Nicole Rader, <laughs> College and Career Counselor Carrie Hines, <laughs> Counselor Joey James, <laughs> Retiring Counselor Rick Jones, <laughs> our Activities Director, Vice Principal, and father of one of the graduates out there, Mr. Bill White. And over to my left, we have Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Sean Hawker. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Education and Curriculum, Mrs. Libby Barrett. <laughs> Director of Assessments and System Performance, Dr. Michael Nelson. <laughs> Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees and a father of one of our graduates, Mr. Casey Morris Rowe, <laughs> member of the Board of Trustees representing Zone 1, Allie Anderton, <laughs> member of the Board of Trustees representing Zone 3, Heather Tenbury, <laughs> retired Clerk of Board of Trustees, Ms. Lynn Town, 
and the new Clerk of Board of Trustees, Marianne Southwick. <laughs> Putting together graduation takes a lot of hands on deck. I want to acknowledge those folks who contributed uh, to this evening. Um, first, thank you, Natalie Hughes. That was outstanding. I want to thank our chamber choir and our choir director, Mackenzie Curtis, in advance as when, for when they sing the alma mater here at the end. We want to thank our administrative professionals, Norma Alley, Sherry Cole, Betty Hensley, Beth Kaufmail, Lisa Knutson, Tracy Myers, Kelly Murray, Diane Nagel, and Lori Nordman. Our assistant principals, uh, Bill White, Anora Jewell, and Victoria Honitschlager. Our SRO, Mario Rios. Our, our head custodian, Matt Tennyson. The folks that are handling a lot of the technology you're seeing around here, Robert Gibson, NIC for live coverage, and Jake Nelke, the Coeur d'Alene District for technology support. <laughs> Rocks Music, Bob and Julie Casagrande from Jostens for our Val Sal Awards. Special thanks to our junior parents for decorating the gym here. And of course, a special thanks to our CHS Boosters and Viking Parent Network for all your support. You guys are outstanding. A couple of, just a promise, just two or three housekeeping items. Uh, the restrooms are located out in the main foyer. We call it the V area. Uh, when, during the recessional, as our students, our graduate, graduated students exit the gym, we ask you to keep the walkways clear so that we don't bottleneck those areas. And uh, lastly, um, if you get too uncomfortable or anything like that, you will have the option if, at this point to go to the auditorium and watch the live stream. That is just an option. Just want to make you aware of that. All right? So to get rolling here, um, I just wanted to... I, I, the, the students and their parents were setting up the memory boards, and I saw a mother talking to her daughter, and, and as the mother talked to the daughter, um, she was holding her hand, and then I watched the daughter walk away, and, and the, the hand kind of slipped free from her mother's hand, and I think that's kind of symbolic of what we're, we're doing here tonight is we're kind of moving on to a measure of independence. We're kind of slipping free uh, into our own worlds, into our own independence, and uh, that, that made me think, I got to tell you a little story here real quick. Years back, I was walking out of Target, and I had my two boys with me. I had one boy on each hand. One of them was eight years old, and one of them was four years old. And the eight-year-old took off. And I panicked, right? And you're grabbing, you parents know, right? You're grabbing, looking for him. And my four-year-old starts yanking on my other hand. You guys know that big red ball out in front of Target? Right. So my eight-year-old climbs up on top of that big red ball, and he's pumping his fist in the air, and my four-year-old's trying to yank away still, and my eight-year-old, his legs kick out from under him, plop, he lets out a yelp. But then he stands up, he dusts himself off, and he comes running back to me about that time my four-year-old broke free. And I'm reaching for him, but I'm watching my eight-year-old still, and I'm reaching for my four-year-old. And I look over, and my four-year-old just like this, And I reach my hand and I, I grab one of his hands. But just before I could, he shouts out, thank you, God, for hurting my brother. <laughs> no, nice kid. But as you go out into the world after tonight, you're going to break free. And maybe you'll raise your arms in victory Maybe you'll slip on occasion, and maybe you'll run back and grab hold of that hand that's been protecting you for so many years. But as you do that, as you go out into this world, I would just simply remind you 
I just want to give you advice in these two areas, seniors. Number one, the people that are up in the bleachers here that love you, rest assured that hand will always be extended waiting for you should you ever need it. And number two, I would stay away from that big red ball at Target. <laughs> at this time, it is my extreme pleasure to introduce the Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees, Casey Morris Rowe. Take a deep breath and you walk through the doors. It's the morning of your first day. You say hi to your friends you ain't seen in a while. Try and stay out of everybody's way. Wise lyrics from Taylor Swift about the first day of high school from her song 15. A song I distinctly remember listening to while driving to Coeur d'Alene High School on the morning of September 5th, 2018. Good evening. Despite what your program says, my name is not Jennifer Brumley, it is Casey Morrisrow, <clears throat> and I am the Vice Chairman of the Coraline School District Board of Trustees. This month, I will conclude my seventh year on the board, and tonight is my 20th graduation in the role. I need to tell you, <clears throat> this one's going to go down as my favorite, because I'm not only here as a board member, but I'm here as Ellie's dad. Thank you. Now, attending 20 graduations as a trustee, you learn rather quickly that no one came here to hear me speak. Normally, I'd be wrapping up my words about now, but tonight's different. As a parent of a graduate of the CHS class of 2022, I found myself thinking about how quickly these 18 years have passed and daydreaming about the events along the way that got us here today. My mind has consistently taken me back to when Ellie was little and having her climb into my lap or cuddle next to me to read a book before she could understand the words. A favorite book of hers was given to us by fellow graduate DeMarco Piazza's grandparents. The book was entitled Eleanor, Ella Tony, Ellen Cake and Me. Back in the day, I had this little rhyming book memorized cover to cover, but now I could just remember bits and pieces. Earlier this week, I went and dug it out of the keepsake box and reread it, and I recognized that I need to share parts of it. So the story starts like this. My life began with just one name, Eleanor. That's all, no more, just Eleanor. One girl, one name, it sounds okay, but things did not work out that way. My name kept changing each and every day. Each member of my family soon had a perfect, excuse me, soon had a different name for me, and with that name, perhaps, a dream of, about the girl I might be. The story goes on to highlight the nicknames given to her through her years by family members and the associated dreams for her future as a model, as a boxer, as a movie star and a chef. Then one Thanksgiving, as the family gathered around the table discussing Eleanor's future, she stands up to say this. Enough, enough with all this stuff. These games with names, I've had enough. Who's Elbow Mac? Please take it back. Miss Eleanor, Ellen Cake, don't use those names, they just sound fake. Along with L and Punch and E, they are not the girl you see. There is a girl I want to be, and there's a name that's right for me. Turning the page, the book concludes, so that is how I overcame the many problems with my name. And on that day, my name became Ellie. Each member of my family thinks Ellie suits me perfectly, and absolutely all agree. Ellie is the girl they see. Ellie is the girl I'll be. Ellie is the name for me. Now, graduates, you might be asking yourself, what does this have to do with me? So let me get to that quickly. <clears throat> In the simplest ways, this story is about moving beyond the hopes and dreams of others and finding yourself in your own passion. It's about defining your own destiny as opposed to letting others define it for you. And 
It's about being happy with who you are and what you're doing in your life. Today, we gather as parents and guardians, family and friends, teachers and administrators to celebrate your accomplishments and your growth over these past 18 years. We recognize that one of our greatest wishes is that we have shared enough with you along the way to guide and support you as you find your own way. Class of 22, congratulations. Tonight, you will walk through the doors as graduates. You will walk through the doors having left your mark on this special place called Coeur d'Alene High School. And you will walk through the doors to your very first day of your own journey. Graduates, as you leave here tonight, please remember these T-Swift words from how she closed that song. Your very first day. Take a deep breath, girl. Take a deep breath as you walk through the doors. Thank you. Okay, it's my great honor to uh, welcome up your valedictorians and salutatorians for the class of 2022. Your valedictorian, Miss Georgia May, and salutatorians, Ellie Morstro, Alicia Villelli, and Zoe Hart. Well, thank you, Dad, for making that so hard to follow. <laughs> I've dreamt about this day for a long time, ever since I was a little girl. I imagined what color dress I would wear, how long my hair would be, how tall I would be. But most importantly, I wondered how I would feel when I walked across the stage and received my diploma. I always thought that I would feel scared and fearful for the future. But now that the day has finally come, and I am standing up here on this stage, delivering this speech, I can't help but only think about the past 12 years and what those in this room have experienced and accomplished. There will never be a class that experiences high school quite like the class of 2022. Now, I know that we're all excited for this next adventure, but none of us would be here today without those who supported us along the way. So, Superintendent Hawker, School Board Trustees, Principal Randalls, faculty, staff, alumni, parents, family members, friends, community members, and those who cannot be with us today. The class of 2022 thanks you for your dedication to us. Mom, Dad, I thank you for your endless support and for holding my hand along this journey. I love you both. And, <laughs> and what a journey this has been. A lot of you I've gone to school with since we were just five, and I can still remember the playground drama, the boys who had cooties, <laughs> the kendama fad, and the fifth grade couples who had their first hug during recess. And then there was middle school. We have fidget spinners, the whole dress color debate, just so we're all on the same page. It's definitely white and gold. <laughs> we have beet salad, and of course, the inevitable body and voice changes. And then we were freshmen, the bottom of the food chain, but we thought we were the coolest. And what seemed to be the longest year of our life finally turned into sophomore year. Kind of like the middle child and forgotten about sometimes, but for us, it turned out to be one of the most important and influential years of our lives. Little did we know it, but the next two years of our lives would change us forever. And just like that, we're seniors, the top of the food chain, actually the coolest ones in this school, and facing a looming doom of graduation and our futures not knowing what either of those meant or how quickly they would come. 
and in the blink of an eye, they came. Our time as high schoolers has been unique. We've missed opportunities, dances, events, games, school hours, and time to hang out with those we care about most. Three out of four of our high school years have been affected by COVID in some way, shape, or form. Growing up as a teenager in this society is already hard enough, but throwing a world pandemic on top of that and it becomes a whole lot harder. But the fact that despite the obstacles we've had to overcome, the days we've had to push through barely making it, and all the things we've had to sacrifice, little or big, we are still here. And that is something to be extremely proud of. And today, I stand up here, living in a moment I've dreamt about since I was a little girl, about to walk across the stage and receive my diploma, wearing a white dress, having long hair, being five foot five, but not being fearful for the future. Because I know that if there is anything the class of 2022 can do, it is to face any challenge that steps in our way and embrace it. Because if the past 12 years have taught us anything, it is that we are incredibly resilient and capable of accomplishing anything. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to introduce you to one of my co-salutatorians, Alicia Valelli. Raising your hand, a simple motion we do on a regular basis throughout our 12 years of school. We've raised our hand to answer questions, to take attendance, and to even use the bathroom. I've heard we don't do that as much in the real world. So I figured we might as well raise our hands a few more times for good measure. I want all group participation, seniors, parents, siblings, and everyone in the audience too, okay? When I tell you to raise your hands, put them up high in the air and keep those hands up until I tell you to bring them down. Okay, could you raise your hands if you've participated in any high school sports? Cool, okay, put those hands down. How about if you've played an instrument? Awesome, lots of hands up, put those down. How about if you like Brussels sprouts? Okay, okay, <laughs> put those hands on down. Lastly, how about if you like pizza? Okay, maybe a couple more of us there. Lastly, could you raise your hand if you've ever done something you might consider as a little reckless, careless, or regrettable? Okay, put those hands on down. Pretty much all of us. All of us have or will do something of some form of recklessness over the course of our life. What makes those experiences worthwhile are all the things we learn and can take from them. There are some lessons that as a class we've learned together. Maybe like just because there's a global pandemic doesn't mean we can ignore all of our schoolwork. And there are some lessons we have learned individually. One of the biggest things that I have seen and truly believe is the fact that we are not defined by our past. Actions we have taken do not have to determine our future. Not only is change possible, it is also one of the most consistent things in life. Change will always happen, and it often happens for the best. I hope that we all change and grow from our high school selves. What you were, or who you were, within these walls, within these four years, does not have to determine what you are in the future. Your ideas and beliefs will likely shift and grow. I encourage you to embrace that change. Just because you were shy as a teen doesn't mean you cannot be outgoing as an adult. Just because you may have been late to almost every class does not mean that you cannot prioritize timeliness in your place of work. Just because you may have let your grades slip over the past couple years doesn't mean that you cannot graduate college with honors. Continue to strive to be your best self, 
even if it is different from what you have been the past four years and from what you are currently. Now, I want you to raise your hand if you are either a Viking, past or present, or are here to support a Viking. Keep those hands up in the air. Class of 22, class of 2022, look around you. Look at this amazing community here today. Okay, you can put your hands on down. <laughs> Don't let your past hold you back. This is a community and a group of people that is excited for you in the present and is looking forward to those changes you will make in your future. <laughs> Let's make the most of it. It is now my pleasure to introduce our co-salutatorian, Zoe Hart. The seafaring Vikings were accustomed to change. Their lives were spent sailing the seas and raiding the shores, witnessing new wonders and landscapes upon each voyage. They sailed off into the unknown and new without hesitation. They were forced to battle ferocious storms and monstrous waves. They dealt with starvation and disease, but they persisted, overcoming the challenges life threw at them, adapting to all the changes. We are Vikings. In more than just name, we are Vikings. We have spirit and perseverance. We have courage and skill. We, like our namesake, are accustomed to change. These past four years have been nothing if not eventful, packed full of change after change, challenge upon challenge. But like the Vikings of old, we adapted to each change, making it to this final moment, graduation. And like everything else these past four years have thrown our way, graduation is yet another change. Many people in the audience today, parents, students, teachers alike, view this day as an ending, an ending to high school, to childhood, to innocence. We are closing the door and moving on putting these four years behind us in lieu of what is to come. I don't want to think like that. Graduation does not mean an end. We still have entire lives to live, entire moments to experience, entire oceans to sail. Graduation cannot possibly be an ending when there's still so much more to explore. But it is also not a beginning. A beginning would mean that our lives before now amount to nothing. Ellie and Alicia have shown us this is not the case, reminding of us, us of what our past 12 years hold. My parents have shown me this is not the case, teaching me lessons that will carry over from my childhood. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I love you both. So what then is this moment of our lives, if not an ending to one era and a beginning to another? This is one instant in our lives, one day, where life changes. It doesn't end. It doesn't begin it changes. Everyone here today has a different path ahead of them. Some are entering the workforce tomorrow. Some are heading off to college, others the military. Some are going into a trade program, while there are still a few not quite sure. Whatever that path may be, each of us is paving it. We are moving forward from today into our future, but we still hold on to our past as we do so. We are free to go from here how we wish, while carrying our history with us. We have become adults who harbor memories of children. We have become independents who still come home for Christmas. But just because graduation isn't an end doesn't mean it's any less frightening. We are preparing to enter the real world, to enter the next stage of our lives. Maybe some of us have already done that, forced to grow up sooner than the rest. Now, we must all follow in their footsteps, taking on the mantle of adulthood and all its burdens. I don't know about you, but I feel less than prepared. The world beyond these walls seems so daunting. There are more responsibilities, more consequences, more problems. Many of us will be living on our own, away from parental support, away from everything we have come to know. Maybe we're ready for that, maybe we're not. The important thing is that we face this change, this transition, as the Vikings once did. We brave it, battling the storms and pushing through the wind, overcoming the current and enduring the rain. And when it all settles, 
we remain standing, having undergone the challenge and risen with it. High school is difficult for everyone in their own way. Life after today will prove to be another challenge to each of us. But just as the Vikings a thousand years ago overcame the odds, the Vikings seated today will do the same. We have faced many changes in our lives. We will face many more in the future. Graduation is just another one of those changes, a tra transition in our life from one moment to the next. We do not need to fear this change, but face it as a Viking would, because we are Vikings. That is one thing that will never change. Congratulations, class of 2022. It is my pleasure to introduce the class of 2022 valedictorian, Georgia May. Hello, can everyone hear me? Yes. Good evening. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, mom and dad. I love you so much and your support means the world to me. Um, we only have one more speech, I promise, so uh, I'll try to make this quick, but I don't think it's very quick. To begin, I just have one single philosophical question for my fellow classmates. Here we go. Are there more wheels or doors in our world? Well, unfortunately, TikTok was unable to find an answer to this seemingly unanswerable question. Yet I stand before you today to offer you my truth. There are infinitely more doors than wheels. We are surrounded by doors in every aspect of our lives. Doors, glass doors, sliding doors, pocket doors, car doors, garage doors, gym doors, just like the ones we walked through under an hour ago. Doors that open easily, doors that are fastened shut, doors that conceal mystery behind them. The very first mechanical locking door is said to have dated back to ancient Egypt thousands of years ago. And you know what? This is good. We needed locking doors, or else we could never have saved our bathrooms from the terrible, awful, dreadful, devious licks that took place this year throughout our school. Parents, if you don't know what I'm talking about, ask your graduate. I think you will be unimpressed. Now, it has been said that there are decades when nothing happens and weeks when decades happen. And to this, I would agree. I think we can all agree. These are times that will one day fill chapters in history books. And honestly, looking back, historians will probably try and use devious licks against us, as if somehow one single TikTok trend can define an entire generation of young people. Or maybe they'll talk about our poor taste in music. But hey, just because modern music is loud does not mean it's bad. Whatever else the historians may try and say about us, I have no doubt at least one of you in the crowd will be wickedly famous and the history books will write about you too. And hopefully many more pages will be filled with stories of how our generation, especially those of us here today, overcame some of the most unprecedented times in history. Pages that describe how no one knew, or even knows now, exactly how best to handle these unknowns. These were doors that few had ever been forced to walk through before. But quickly, we learned to not fight change, but to let it mold us, to shape us, to guide us into becoming the malleable thinkers that we are today. We learn to make every day count, to not take a single one for granted, to become doers, not just dreamers, because let's face it, our dreams don't always come true, but with sheer determination, anything we dream becomes possible. We learned we were not defined by our lowest moments or our lowest grades or our worst mistakes, we learned that even while some doors may close, others will always open wide. Most importantly, we learned to adapt, to roll with the punches, to become the graduates we are today. These lessons are not transient. What we have learned will last lifetimes. The grit, determination, and the willingness to work that our shared hardships instilled in us 
will be what drives our future success, what makes our class the one that will undoubtedly change the world and the course of history as we know it. On September 4th, 2018, most of us walked through the old doors at the V entrance on our first day at Coeur d'Alene High School, and thus began our time as Vikings. Well, we've been here a while now, and the doors we walked through four years ago don't look the same anymore. They look a lot better now. Naturally, our school has evolved, and so have we. We don't look the same anymore, but we aren't supposed to look the same. We aren't supposed to behave the same or even think the same. Graduation is a time of transition, a rite of passage, a large step forward as we commemorate the past. This period of change may seem scary to some, but for our class, the class of 2022, change is truly nothing new. We have grown accustomed to change. In times of uncertainty, change became our purpose, and purpose became triumph. Today, in this gym, we are one, one graduating class of 2022, one group of Coeur d'Alene's finest young adults, one conglomeration of teenagers in royal blue caps and gowns. But tomorrow, we will become just one of many. As we navigate a world stripped of our high school identities, let us carry with us the lessons we learned, the knowledge we accrued, the victories we won, just like winning Fight for the Fish after nearly a decade. Yeah. And let us never forget where we came from, who supported us, who made our failures recoverable and our successes possible. And every single door we have passed through thus far. So let us always leave the doors of our future open for change for understanding, for curiosity, for knowledge, and most importantly, for each other. Congratulations and roll Vikes. As Miss Melton affectionately calls those young ladies the Fab Four, great job, girls. Outstanding. So now things start getting official, and I speak directly to Dr. Hawker. As principal of Coeur d'Alene High School, it is my honor to present the graduating class of 2022 and certify they have completed the requirements necessary for graduation as specified by the state of Idaho and school district number 271. Thank you, Principal Randalls. It's my pleasure to accept the graduating class. It's my honor to say, wow, what a great looking group of graduates here. In fact, you have to just indulge me. So on the count of three, everybody say, hold on, I gotta get this ready. Everybody say Vikings for life. Ready? One, two, three. Vikings for life. <laughs> That's a keeper. All right, thank you. Congratulations to all seniors and their parents and grandparents and all of these loved ones all over the place. Congratulations to all the terrific staff who have helped make this day possible for these seniors. And class of 22, you should be very proud of your accomplishments. And although some of you probably could have accomplished this feat all by yourself, I'm sure many of you owe a great deal of help to many along the way, including your parents and other loved ones. So please, later today, give them a big hug and tell them how much you love them. I'm going to be super brief today, because you're really not going to remember much of what any presenter shares today anyway. But I have found some success with a couple of recommendations, and I want to share those with you tonight. Number one, whether you are headed to the military, and thank you if you are, or some sort of additional training or college or the world of work, Please remember to ask questions. Inquisitive minds want to know. Learning never ends. Number two, 
Exercise every day or you're going to get a physique like this. <laughs> Number three, be smart. Set goals and make decisions that further those goals. And number four, stay optimistic. Look for the good all around you. I believe that the world is not as ugly as it sometimes sounds. There is undue pressure upon graduating classes that they need to go forth into society and, and fix it completely. Well, while you do owe a service to the world in which you live, I do believe it's a bright outlook. The world is not ugly or broken. It's just much older than us and has aged accordingly. It's easy to be scared by the reports of the daily news, but I believe that it's our job to keep the good of it all, the good that will always exist amidst opposition. Since I've shared with you some of the things that I believe, I think I'll end with this chant that is familiar to most all of you. It's the chant I hear at your football, basketball, and volleyball games when you know your team's about to win. It's the I believe, I believe that, I believe that we, I believe that we will. You guys know that chant, right? All right, here we go. I believe, I believe the world is not as ugly as it sounds. I believe that, I believe that CHS has been your home, your launch pad, and you are ready. And I believe that we, I believe that we are in good hands. You have the tools necessary to leave your mark. And finally, I believe that we will win. Thank you. Yes, I believe you are all winners. Without question, special congratulations are in order, and I commend this class for its many accomplishments. It's my hope that students, parents, staff, and our community can join together in recognizing this significant accomplishment. Seniors, we honor you and hope this graduation ceremony will be a fitting culmination to your efforts. Mr. Morris Rowe, Ellie's dad, it's my pleasure to present to you as the Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees, the Coeur d'Alene High School graduating class of 2022, which has completed all requirements for graduation. Okay, we're almost there. But real quick, graduates, if you are heading to the Armed Forces, could you stand up for me real quick? Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, the words we've all been waiting for. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Coeur d'Alene School District 271, it is my honor to accept the Coeur d'Alene High School graduating class of 2022 and to authorize the issuing of the diplomas. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and pleasure to present to you the Coeur d'Alene High School graduating class of 2022.
Georgia Ann May. Eleanor Christine Morris Rowe. Alicia Peyton Villelli. Zoe Jean Hart. Kara Weun Lei. Maya Jane Reitz. Grace Elizabeth Ellison. <laughs> Brighton Allen Ray Spencer. Rayla Brooke Atwood. Sophia Maria Allen. Kaya Jane Scarborough. Brianna Kathleen Priest. Madison Raylin Cleave. Abigail Roan Griffiths. Shelby Joanne Gray. Sophia Elizabeth Inge. Alexia Lynn Berger. Stephen Jackson, Jason Ball. Cooper Michael Larson. Reese Larian Jackson. And Nathaniel Benjamin Adams. Skylar Peyton Burke. Theodore Thomas Schultz. Alex Richard Reyes. Penelope Jane Gates. Emily Danielle Forsloff. Elsa Rose Leverance. Macy June Nelson. Marks Aaron Strong. Paige Deborah Crabb. Sophia Marie Shasha. Katie Noel Langford. Elise Roma McAllister. Connor Ryan Tividar. Caitlin Michelle Taylor. Tug Douglas Welsant. Lillian Eliza Cannon. Page, Haley Page Black. Caden Isaiah Sampsel. And Mason James Groth. Dallin Richter Dance. William Frederick Sims.
Otsque Biksaki Desba Shabala. Billy Marie Inman. Kaya Alexis Poorboy. James Henry Hagman. Braden Tanner Bengston. Olivia Kayleen Jacobson. Mackenzie Mary Ryan. Paige Babbitt. Riley Victoria Cates. Kalena Elise Flowers. Kyle Michael Romeo. Abigail Emily Buzzlich. Destiny Morgan Lineweber. Dimitri William Panos. Abigail Hope Howe. Landon Jerome Cotent. And Savannah Ali Aliza Repsch. Paloma Abarca. Lily Shay Abel. Chloe Marie Adamson. Riley Billy Allison. Angelina Petra Elizabeth Ankney. Blake Michael Austin. Jimmy Zane Otten. Evan James Baldridge. Gabriel Vincent Barnes. Jerome Christopher Bean. Hunter Riley Bentley. Jackson Davis Berger. Kaya Michelle Big Spring. Alexis K. Blankenship. John Eric Bogdanowitz. Grant Brooks Bordner. Tabitha Melanie Bowles. Carmen Daisy Fox. Corey Natalia Boyce. Anthony Joseph Brandis. And Dominic Zane Brockway. Catherine Rose Bryant. Keith Brody, Ro Brody Bryant. Corbin Joseph Brinston. Mason James Bunting. Morgan Eugene Bunting. Charlie May Call. William Callahan. Claire Olivia Cameron. 
Julian Anthony Campbell. Isaac Alexander Carter. Paige Lorraine Carmody. Kaylin Marie Carpenter. Electa Laurie Cottle. Noah James Sear. Amara Raquel Cheek. Braden Michael Siasio. Joshua Edward Clark. Matthew Paul Clasiri. Eliana Michael Club. Robert Collier, Jr. And Evan Carl Conley. Cameron Christopher Cope. Samantha Jade Cordova. Amy Louise Corret, Kalia Elaine Cox, Porter Robert Craig, Rylan William Crawford, Riley Shane Kramer. Aaron Matthew Cunningham. Troy James Diagostino. Kara Faye Daly. Rylan Danielle Daly. Loudon J. Davey. Daniel James Dawson. Devin Yvonne Dixon. Olivia James Dixon. James Chanta Elliott. David Michael Ellis. Gabriel Edward Elmore. Samuel James Ensi. Kenzie Marie Epi. Lucas J. Erickson. And Ashley Michael Fitzgerald. Erica Taylor Foreman. Caden Dale Foreman. Molly Jean Forster. Foster. Caden Daniel Franks. Caleb Thomas Frazier. Ashton Ezekiel Fredekind. Parker Forrest Freeman. Mark Zachary Fraley. Fraley. Michaela Loren Lorena Gallegos. Taylor Windica Gardner. Rita Nawanku Garaton. 
Gunnar Del James Julio. Haley Ann Getz. Sophia Maria Goodson. Alyssa Donna Gordon. Jake Gary Gornick. Trace Langson Goucher. Rachel Gorley. Adam Michael Graham. Connor Thomas Graham. Sophia Nicole Granger. And Jake Stephen Gray. Abigail Elizabeth Green. Isaiah James Griffin. Aiden Ariana Grossman. Paris Paige Groves. Gabriel Donald Guthrie. James Wayne Castagno Gear. Benjamin Brian Hansen. Allison May Marie Hansen. Mariah Navea Harmon. Tiana Adasia Karen Harrell. Lauren Inman Harrison. Maxwell Alexander Harrison. Jordan Allen Hill. Kaylee Noel Hilliker. Chad Lyle Holbrook. William Patrick Hoover. Hannah Josephine Hopper. Wyatt Lane Howard. Isaiah Brenner Hudlett. Natalie Claran Hughes. John McLean Hunt IV. Quinston Ray Tig Engel. Lily Catherine Isaacson. And Devin Daniel Ivankovich. Andrew Lynn Elizabeth Jacob. Brenna Ryan Ryan J Jacobson. Cole Douglas Jaworski. Callie Ryan Jensen. Cullen Thomas Jewell. Sean Wakefield Johansson. Ethan Daniel Johnson. Noah Alexander Johnson. Christian Isaiah Kelly. Anne Marie Kerr. Joshua Subin Kim. Miley Mariah B. Kimball. Sarah Nicole Kindler. Chandler Charles King. 
Micah Jean Kirking. Dylan Christopher Connect. Nicholas Anthony LaFleur. Kara Marie Lalatin. Lalatin. <laughs> Tanner Jordan Langley. Johnny Wynn Lee. And Cassandra Marie Irene Lee. Mia Diane Lewis. Lavender Mugenhad Lim. Jenna Leanne Linninger. Evan Thomas Louder. Keegan Michael Ludwig. Evan Blake Mallory. Marianne Canone Malone. Vivian Mary Matthews. Blake Albert McBride. Riley Shannon McCooey. Alexia Crimson McCurdy. Walker Allen McElvaney. William Louise McAvoy. Alexander Gabriel McLaughlin. Samuel Allen McLaughlin. Matthew Thomas McLeod. Mila Ella Mendoza Guzman. Ryan Austin Merritt. Owen Thomas Miller. Megan Rianne Mills. Dylan Chad Moffitt. Samuel Ryan Morris. and Owen Patrick Mullen. Casey Mullinger. Avery Louise Mulvaney. Aiden Anthony Myers. Tyler Herbert Nash. Kyle James Nelson. Brady Eric Oakland. John Allen Overland. Luke Allen Owen. Gavin Michael Pagano. Zoe Renee Parent. Emily Rose Peppers. Slade Jensen Parasini. Jonathan Avery Perkins. Michael Blaze Petrie. Lily Chandler Finnessy. DeMarco Allen Piazza. Olivia Renee Pierre. Bryn Grace Porter. Wyatt Joshua Potter. Cade Fisher Prado. Sebastian Zion Prangley and 
Maria Elizabeth Perti. Abby Lynn Ramage. Connor Braden Reeves. Katherine Marie Ringer. Crystal Rose Roddy. More. Rylan Matthews Rogers. Marin Grace Rowley. Wyatt Jean Stanford. Lauren Mahama Saraz. <laughs> Alyssa Rose Soseda. Ashley Nicole Snyder. Ryan Chadwick Snyder. <laughs> Ashley Rain Schoenthal. <laughs> Garrett Joseph Secord. <laughs> Colton James Shackleford. <laughs> Jonah Payton Sharp. Alyssa Rose Sherum. Haley Emma Shrirey. Shelby Marie Schreiner. Austin Josiah Sierra. Brody Joe Singer. Cadence Erlin Skaggs and Casey Helene Skelton. Jacob Michael Allen Screenock. Braden Alexander Smart. Caden Corona Smith. Austin Daniel Smith. Riley Nicole Snyder. Bo Lewis Spellman. Jordan Lucas Stavros. Connor James Studebaker. Taylor Marie Sendles Grady. Grandy. Abigail Hope Swaggerty. Allison Katherine Taylor. Preston Scott Teal. Alexandra Star Torres. Blake Austin Truman. Madeline Lauren Twillman. Justin Gabriel Vach. Cecile Luann Van Heel. Bethany Ann Bellon. Brooklyn Ruth Waddell. 
Alexander James Walker. And Lucas Matthew Walters. Wu Yi Walters. Lena Renee Wanamaker. Brooklyn Summer Ward. Jackson McKillian Washington. Murphy James Weatherford. <laughs> Reese Kellen Waddell. Weddell. Brooke Isabella Westrup. Catherine Ann White. Jake Wyatt Williams. Tiger Edward Williams. Tristan Orion Williams. Riley. Riley McKenna Woodman. Ethan Kyle Wright. Jacob Dean Woolley. Olivia McKenna Wyatt. Myri Chosen Young. Mason Kenneth, Kenneth Zimmer. Miriam Ruth Northrup. Matthew Lee McCorkle. And Caden George Peterson. I, uh, so timely, I was telling my wife before I left the house tonight that I could really use a bucket of hardware, so thank you. Man. Hey, you Joey? Goodness gracious. Um, so, graduates, Coeur d'Alene High School, you may now take your tassels and move them from the right to the left. Because you are graduates, like so many of the alumni sitting in the stands, it's important that you not only know our alma mater while you're a student here, but while you are an alumni. You are now an alumni of Coeur d'Alene High School. So I'm going to ask that our Mackenzie, Miss Mackenzie Curtis and our choir come on up to sing the alma mater. As is always the case when our alma mater is sung, please stand.
Your last test as a Viking, finish the sentence. Once a Viking, always a Viking. This is your class of 2022. Congratulations. <laughs>